Beautiful Stylist from House of Colour Tayside and Fife and I'm here to help you look and feel fabulous without the fast fashion fix. This is the first in my new video series in which I show you how to go shopping in your own wardrobe to recreate your favourite outfits online. Things that you might have seen your favourite celebrities wearing or that might have come up in your Instagram feed. Now the thing is, when we scroll through these types of images, we feel this urge to go shop for something new because we feel that our own wardrobes are completely inadequate and that we've got nothing to wear. But this is what keeps us trapped in the fast fashion cycle, that urge to go and buy cheap new clothing that we very quickly become bored with. It's estimated that most women wear only about 15% of their wardrobes, so that's a lot of clothes going to waste. So what I'm here to help you do is to realise the potential of your wardrobe, reconnect with what you've already got in there, and appreciate what you already have before feeling like you have to go out and buy something new. So let's get started. So today's outfit is going to be inspired by Acacia in Connecticut in the States and she is at Left Hand Glam on Instagram. I'll put the link below if you want to go and check her out. I love Acacia's style. She's so bold and fun and funky and edgy and I particularly love this outfit. I would definitely wear this to a gig or a party when it's safe to do so again, of course. So I can't copy Acacia's exact outfit because I don't have all of these pieces in my own wardrobe. But what I am going to do is break down her look into three steps that will allow me to go into my wardrobe and pull out pieces to recreate the overall look. So the first step is colour. And I can see that Acacia is wearing a mix of neutrals, black and silver, with a bold pink colour. Now this is a great look for creating high contrast and I really feel like her purple hair adds to the statement being made. We can also see that the pink in her jacket is echoed with the pink in the graphic design on her t-shirt and she's also got a bold pink lip as well. So when I go into my wardrobe, what I'm going to be looking for are neutral pieces, probably black and silver, and combined with a bold colour that gives a high contrast to that. Now if you don't wear black because it's not one of your seasonal colours, you can try one of the darker neutrals from your own palette, for example the navies, browns and greys. The second step is style, and that's all about what words would you use to describe the outfit. So I think that this look is edgy and playful. So the edginess comes from like the leather jacket, the leather skirt, the chain detailing, and the playfulness comes from the pink, from the silver shoes, the quirky little silver bag. I also feel like there's an element of futuristic to this outfit. The shoes in the bag look a little bit space agey, and the t-shirt has a bit of a 80s feel to it as well, which gives it a bit of a vintage vibe. So when I go into my own wardrobe, I'm going to be looking for clothing, shoes and accessories that are both playful and edgy. For those of you who've had your House of Colour style consultation, you can refer to the wardrobe words that your consultant gave you for inspiration on how to describe the different styling elements in an outfit. The third step is the fit and finish. Now the fit is about how the clothes are fitted to the body and the finish is about the finishing touches, the small details that help to pull the whole look together. So we can see that the fit is very neat, the skirt and the jacket are both short, the ankle boots are neat and fitted and we can also see that Acacia is topping and tailing her outfit with bold hair and bold boots. What about the finishing touches? Well, we can see that most of the detail is in the upper half of the body, that's where our eye is drawn to. The neckline is closed and round, her t-shirt is being tucked in, and her jacket is worn open to show off her t-shirt. And let's talk about her accessories too. So she's wearing statement sunglasses, a chunky chain necklace, and big hoop earrings too. I think she's also wearing a chain on her wrist, She's got several rings on both hands and she's got this chain belt that's worn low on the waist. She's got this really cute, small, structured bag which matches the boots and she's wearing fishnet tights and also she's wearing ankle boots that are pointed. 
So when I go into my own wardrobe, I'm going to be looking for neat fitted short clothes and I'm also going to be having a look at what accessories I can use to help pull this look together. So let's have a look at what I have. So the main foundations of this outfit are the skirt, the t-shirt and the leather jacket. And I already have a skirt that's very similar to Acacia's, so I'm pretty delighted with that. Now, as for the t-shirt, I don't have one that is, has a sort of 1980s graphic print on it. However, I do have this black t-shirt with Friday the 13th emblazoned on the front. But I think this is a suitable alternative because it has a bit of an edge to it. I think it's going to align with the whole outfit. Now, sadly, I don't have a hot pink leather jacket and I'll be perfectly honest, this is the exact kind of photo that makes me think I must get a pink leather jacket in my life. But I already have another leather jacket in blue, which is fabulous. So I don't really need another one in my life. So I think it's totally fine to wear a blue leather jacket with this outfit rather than a pink one. As I said before, the exact colours are not important, it's more about using colour in the same way. So I'm going to be combining my black dark neutral colours with a bold colour and you can do the same in your own seasonal colour palette. Now onto the shoes. Now I don't have silver boots like Acacia. I do have these silver brogues and I've also got a pair of silver plimsolls but what I think is important in Acacia's outfit is the pointed toe of her boots because it's emphasizing that drama in the outfit. So I think that fitted ankle boots with a pointed toe are more important than the color. So I'm just gonna go with my black ankle boots instead. They've got a zip and some animal print on them, which gives them a bit of an edge and they've got these pointed toes as well. Now I don't have a small, cute, structured bag like Acacia, either in silver or any other colour, because to be honest, I wouldn't be able to fit anything in it. It wouldn't be practical for my lifestyle. So what do I have instead? Well, I have this silver bag, which is in the same colour palette as the outfit, but it's really big. And I think that the playfulness that the little silver bag brings to Acacia's outfit is really important in recreating this look. So I do think that the bag needs to be smaller and cuter than that. And the only thing I really have is this little Kenzo bag. It's obviously not silver, but it's got the zips and a chain strap. So I feel like that adds an element of edginess and that's in keeping with the whole look. Now I can also see that Acacia is wearing a chunky chain necklace. Now that's really on trend this season and I never invested in a chain necklace because I already have a chain belt that I can repurpose as a necklace. So I actually bought this in River Island in 2004. So it's been in my life for I don't know, what's that, 16 years now? So I'm gonna use this as a necklace rather than going out to buy something new. I don't have big silver hoops like Acacia, but I do have these neon green ones, which I think will add an element of playfulness to the outfit. So I'm away to go and get dressed. Let's see how I get on. So here's the finished look. I absolutely love it. I am so chuffed with how this outfit turned out. And you know, most of the items I'm wearing were either gifted to me by family members or were purchased secondhand. My bag is secondhand from eBay, as is my chain belt, and my earrings cost me 50 pence in a charity shop in Dundee. I also decided to make the outfit more appropriate for the Scottish weather by putting white fishnet tights over black tights so it's a little more cosy and I'm also wearing a long sleeve t-shirt underneath my t-shirt and leather jacket just to give me an extra bit of warmth. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. I have had such fun putting this outfit together. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and why not leave a comment below to let me know what you thought about the outfit and also whether you're feeling inspired to go shopping in your own wardrobes to recreate your own favorite outfits. Please subscribe to the House of Colour YouTube channel to be notified of new video uploads. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon with my next go shopping in your wardrobe video. And until then, stay safe and take care.
Ooh.